Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade is the title of four different video games released for various video and computer home systems between 1989 and 1994. The format of each particular video game is different, but they loosely follow the storyline of the 1989 film. The action game Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the action game was released in 1989 for the DOS, Amiga, Amstrad CPC, Atari Street, Commodore 64, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, Genesis, Sega Game Gear, MSX and ZX Spectrum. Each version of the game is similar, with slight differences in the quality of the graphics and sound. This is a side-scrolling adventure game where players control Indiana Jones through various side-scrolling levels from the film, armed with their reflexes and the trademark whip. The graphic adventure Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the graphic adventure is a graphic adventure game released by LucasArts for DOS, Amiga, Atari Street and Macintosh systems in 1989. The player controls Dr. Jones as he interacts with various characters and visits areas from the film in order to find the secret of the Holy Grail. The game was re-released twice, first with 256 color graphics and a full digital soundtrack, and later with 256 color graphics, minor bugfixes and the original version's MIDI soundtrack. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade Produced by Taito for the Nintendo Entertainment System it is a side-scrolling action-adventure game, mixed in with some minigames involving time puzzles. The player can also follow some segments of the story and decide which order the character will play each scenario. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade In September 1993, UBI Soft released a game titled Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade for the NES. A Game Boy version by UBI Soft, with identical gameplay to the NES version, was released in January 1994. The action game features six levels and a password feature, Nintendo Power, reviewing the NES version, praised the action gameplay and noted that the music and levels helped recreate the feel of the movie. Nintendo Power was not impressed with the character graphics but stated that the animation is quite good for the NES. Nintendo Power praised the Game Boy version for its graphics, password system, and challenging gameplay, but criticized the poor hit detection and the time limits on each level, both of which made the game more difficult. Game players rated the NES version 52%. Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures The Last Crusade is the last part of this Super NES game, which is based on the first three Indiana Jones movies. 